Good afternoon, Mr. Radley. Prosecutor, from further prosecuting this matter, do you remember seeing that in the draft? Good afternoon, Mr. Radley. Um, a few questions. A lot of folks have taken up the questions that I wanted to ask, but I'll, I've got a few left here. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. You said you, uh, Mr. Radley, you said you didn't know what uh, uh, Ms. Merchant was going to be doing with the motion that she sent you. You remember that testimony a few minutes ago? Um, I think I said I didn't know that. I knew that she was gathering information, yes. Well, let's look at the, at the title of the motion that she sent you. Do you remember that, reading? That was sent on the 6th. Excuse me. Do you remember reading the defendant Michael Roman's motion to dis dismiss grand jury indictment as fatally defective and motion to disqualify the district attorney, her office, and the special prosecutor from further prosecuting this matter? Do you remember seeing that in the draft that you read and reviewed? Yes. So when you tell this court that you didn't know what she was up or what she was going to do, she kind of gave you a hint, didn't she, in the title of the motion that she sent for you to read, didn't she? Yes or no? I read the title of what the motion was. And there wasn't anything in the title that threw you off. Pretty straightforward speaking title, isn't it? Correct. So you knew that what she wanted was information from you so that she could then file a motion to dismiss the grand jury indictment to motion to disqualify the district attorney and her office and the special prosecutor from further prosecuting the matter, right? I'm going to object to speculation. You knew that, didn't you? No, overall. Yes or no? When she sent that motion, yes. Okay. And you knew that the special prosecutor that to, to whom she was referring in that motion was Mr. Wade, correct? You knew that. Yes. Because you read the motion, you said you reviewed it, correct? Yes. And we're not going to go over all of the, you know, number one, because we don't have time, and number two, the, the court wouldn't let me. But, <laughs> but there are a few things that I do want to ask you about uh, in, that response, in, in that aspect. Now, in that motion that you said you reviewed, on page six of that motion, well, on page five, it starts off with, how do we know this? And there's a question mark. Okay. All right. Yeah, Mr. Gillen, um, you know, I, 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 I can appreciate what you're doing. I think that's something you can do at argument. He said as a whole that he got the motion and he's had his response as to his opinion of how he handled it. I, I, I don't see, that, again, this um, uh, really being necessary to go through it line by line of what. Well, I, 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 a, a little indulgence, Your Honor. I'm not going to go. Um, you know, this isn't going to be a you know a, a, a forty minute death march through the motion. I would like to ask about a few bullet points that uh, that capture under this, and then I'll move on. But I would yeah. ask the court's indulgence in that respect. You know, I, again, I think I think he, we, we, I think we've covered it, and I think that you'll be able to argue that this was in that motion, and that he had a chance to review it, and he never objected to anything in there, erased it. So that's a problem, and always ending up last. It, it, it very much is. And next time asked, I'll reshuffle the order. Well, you know, we did earlier with Mr. Uh, Wade, and then I, I hear you. That was kind enough, and then you. the court said we had to go. I need to draw okay. straws next there time. There we go. That, I'll go with that. All right. Anything Thank else? Thank you, Ron. That's okay. all I have. Okay. Uh, we had Mr. Kachura potentially still on Zoom. Yes, Your Honor, and I have just a few questions. All right. Uh, could we add a spotlight to Mr. Kachura if I'll let you know when we're able to proceed? <laughs> Judge, before he starts, can I take a five-minute restroom? Uh, absolutely. Two hours? Uh, uh, yeah, we've been going two hours. So let's come back at 4 o'clock. I'll also note for the record that uh, we received a notification from Mr. Cromwell on behalf of Ms. Latham, and he said he was waiving her presence. Uh, and I don't know if he later decided to join us by Zoom, but um, I, I, I don't think he was electing to, uh, to log in. So uh, after Mr. Kucherov, just in terms of timing, uh, Mr. Abadi, uh, do you have any expectation of how long your, if any, questioning would last? I don't imagine my questioning would be very long. Okay. Uh, well, let's get back in at, at 4 o'clock. Uh, Mr. Riley, you can just step out the jury room.
her office and the special prosecutor from further prosecuting the matter, right? I'm going to object. Um, <clears throat> a few questions. A lot of folks have taken up the questions. That I did Michael Roman's motion to dis dismiss grand jury indictment as fatally defective? I wanted to ask, but I'll, I've got a few left here. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. <clears throat> and motion to disqualify the district attorney, her office, and the special draft that you read and reviewed? Yes. So when you tell this court on it was information from you so that she could then file a motion to dismiss the speaking title, isn't it? Correct. So you knew that what she would prosecute from further prosecuting this matter. Do you remember seeing that in the drawer that you didn't know what she was up or what she was going to do? She kind of gave you a hint, didn't she? Didn't she? Yes or no? I read the title of 